Now what is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video and today we'll continue working on our search results summary. So right now we already have this part done uh, which shows the search term, the location and some metadata about the search. But we still need some buttons with icons. So we need uh, these three here and we need this button group. And before we get started, uh, let's just quickly review our code. So I just want to show you something. Uh, say I add here another div and I put some content in here. Remember that this styles.container uh, is a horizontal flex container. So if I add another element in here, it's going to be put on the right like directly after this element. And we use this flex container so that uh, we can center everything we have in here. And that was actually pretty handy. But if you really think about it, our layout is actually a column layout. So we want our items to be stacked. We don't want them to, put, to be put in one line, so to say, horizontally, but we want them to be stacked. And like so, we can make sure that we reach the overall layout so that it's aligned with our nav bar and that we reach the overall layout of the component. So let's go back to our code and let's just make this container uh, align its elements in a vertical way. Okay. And now if we go back, we see that our content element is put underneath the stuff we already have. So that's pretty good. And uh, well, we still need to align them. So let's just say align items center. Yes. So that looks much, much nicer. And now we can actually continue with our buttons. So we already had this a couple of times. I think we always use this uh, GitHub button here, right? This one. So let's copy this one. And by the way, since this is a horizontal uh, button layout, we're just going to use a flex container where we put in all these buttons. So let's go back to our code editor and create the flex container first. So we can say class name equals um, styles.filters. And we go in here and we say dot filters uh, display flex. Cool. And now we can paste everything in here that we want. Okay, so remember we have a span. Inside that span we have this icon. And then we have another span which contains the actual text. So that looks pretty okay. Uh, but there's one thing, since we copied it from the documentation, uh, it still has this class, but it needs to be class name because we're working with React. So if you bring up this dialog by hitting Control F or Command F if you're on a Mac and search and replace for class equals, and then we uh, replace it with class name. Nice. So that should do it. And we should have some button here. Yes. Nice. Uh, we need three buttons, so let's copy it two more times. And now we need to start searching for the icons, I guess. So the first one is like these filters. And I think I found it by searching for um, filters or no, I think it wasn't filters, it was sliders. Sometimes you need a little bit of fantasy like to, <laughs> to find what you're actually looking for in this documentation. So it's FAS and then FA-sliders-h. So FAS, I think it's FAS everywhere. So we're going to do it here, uh, dot sliders.h. And then we say all filters. And then in addition, we need yeah, what else do we need? This clock here. Clock. Yeah, let's pick this one. 
it's FAS FA dash clock. So that's good. So we just have to replace it with here. And uh, yeah, we should add this text open now. And for the other one, it's cash back. And then we still need this dollar. Right, so this is uh, this icon here and it's dollar sign. So it's FA dash dollar dash sign, dollar dash sign. Nice, so that should do it. Yes, and now we can take care of our button group. So this is actually this group over here, which is an indication of how pricey it is. And fortunately, Bulma already has something like that because I found it down here. Yes, um, it is this one. So we can just, uh, no, actually it's this one. We can just copy and paste this. Otherwise we need to remove some classes. And all, this bu all these buttons, they should be placed after the first button, according to our screenshot. And again, we need to run this, we need to replace class with class name because we are in React here. And let's just add $1, $2, $3, and a fourth one. <laughs> so the fourth one is so expensive, you don't want to be there, <laughs> to be clear. Okay, so here we are. Cool, so that's pretty good. Uh, I don't like the spacing here. So if we go to our screenshot, we see there is a decent amount of space, but that's super easy. Remember that all of that stuff is inside our filters class. So we can just go here and just say, every direct descendant of filters is going to have a margin right of 0.7 rem. That should do it. Yes. Nice. Um, Good. The only thing that we're still missing, I guess, is it's not properly aligned in terms of overall layout. So it should also have a maximum width of 1100 pixels, like this element here. Um, and it should take everything if it's available. Um, and to not repeat ourselves, let's uh, delete this one. And let's just say every direct descendant, so every flex item inside the container we have, must have 1000, have a maximum width of 1100. And in here, we just say, uh, take everything you can get. Yes. And that's how we're rolling. Uh, yeah, it looks quite okay, in my opinion. Now, the only thing that I don't like is I don't like the spacing. So let's go to over here and maybe let's decrease this a little bit. Ah, something is off. So let's go in here. Oh, this is interesting. You see this subtitle class from Bulma, it has like this huge margin of 24 pixels and that's why it doesn't look, yeah, right. So. What can we do about this? Well, that's a pretty good question, actually. Uh, we can just say, why don't we make a super specific CSS rule? And with this super specific CSS rule, uh, we just override the behavior we already have. So let's go back. And since our H1 is inside our search summary uh, flex container, we just say search summary. And then we say all head all H1s uh, that have, in addition, the class dot subtitle. And bear in mind, we need to add the global here because the subtitle class comes from Bulma and because we don't want CSS modules to attach any prefixes or suffixes. And then we just say uh, margin bottom zero. So that looks much, much better. I think the only thing we haven't done yet is to add this border here at the bottom. And this is uh, this subtle gray here again. So let's go here and let's just say border, one pixel, solid. 
and it's again this RGB and three times 230. So that should be it. Yes, that's super nice. Cool, so we're done with our search results summary. Uh, now, actually now I would commit these changes, but <laughs> since I messed up the video a couple of times, I already committed it in a previous video, so I can't commit the changes uh, right now um, because I already did so. Um, but you kind of see what we did here, and I think by the time you already know how to commit stuff. So uh, please commit and push this stuff on your own. So thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.